Are you sleeping late and need to improve? Are you traveling and changing time zones? Are you in school and want to get stuff done before it drains you? In this video, I will share my story on how I went from staying up past midnight on a school day playing video games, all the way to waking up at 5 a.m. every single day latest. We could all benefit from waking up earlier. Most of us are programmed to wake up before the sun. Yes, there are people who need less than six hours of sleep. Yes, there are people who need to naturally wake up later. You're not one of them. You will stay poor and not reach your goals if you do not manage your time. Finally, to be clear, you don't have to wake up at 4 a.m. every single day. I'm just telling you how to manage your time because waking up earlier is a powerful tool. I will be teaching you the only three things you'll need to know about waking up earlier. I have not heard these anywhere else. Stick to the end for the full plan of action that I've written out for you. Number one, do not fall into this trap. If you do this, you will never be able to fix your sleep routine. You're playing with your sleep like it's some kind of joke. You're messing with your body's rhythm and it's not gonna take that kindly. Trust me, I know from firsthand experience. Pick a consistent wake up and go to sleep time Stick to it. I can't believe I have to say this, but yes, even on the weekends. Stick to a bedtime that allows you to get eight hours of sleep, nine, 10, or more if you're still growing. It will take time for your body to get used to the rhythm. It could be a week or two, maybe more. Prioritize sleep like it's the most important mission of your life. You have to stay consistent and don't mess around because it's not a joke. You could literally get cancer from bad sleep because it reduces cancer killing cells. An hour less of sleep than you need can aid you by decades. Ruin your health, hormones, and strength. Number two, we've just covered a bunch of numbers. When we should sleep, how long we should sleep for. Getting a full eight hours of sleep is nice, but it means nothing if you don't have good sleep quality. The ultimate rule of thumb for increasing sleep quality is health. All of the have a clean diet, exercise, use your energy throughout the day, don't drink alcohol, caffeine. It's just to improve your health. This goes for mental health too. You can ease anxiety and stress with certain types of meditation, non-sleep deep rest, gratitude journaling, and more. Number three, here's the full plan of action that I've written out for you. I'm guaranteed that this will work for you. Go to your phone's timer app. For Apple, it's clock. Instead of setting alarms to wake you up, set alarms to remind you of bedtime. It works like a charm. Your alarms should be in PM, not AM. Assuming that you have a consistent sleep routine, pick the time that you're comfortable sleeping at right now. Let's say 11 PM. Set the alarm 30 minutes earlier, which is 10.30 PM. If you struggle to stay consistent, you can set it an hour earlier. Apple Clock does this perfectly. After you create the alarm to remind yourself, create another alarm 15 minutes earlier and repeat until you reach your desired time. It should look something like this. Every day when you wake up, delete the old alarm, activate the new one and repeat. It's like ticking off a box on a habit tracker. Chances are your sleep quality isn't ideal. Depending on age, lifestyle, genetics, I would recommend 10 to 12 hours in bed. I've seen all the nice, easy videos that tell you to put your phone on the other side of the room so you have to walk and stop the alarm. I've seen the videos that tell you to drink cold water when you wake up or open the lights. The truth is, they don't work. Not at all. If you're not dedicated to make this change, the location of your timer won't matter. Before 6 a.m., nobody's out to get your attention unless you let them. Most importantly, it's disciplining yourself to take control of your day and manage your time. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and found it valuable. If you need any more reminders for waking up earlier, feel free to watch the video again or share it to friends and family. If you have any questions or comments for me, don't be afraid to let me know. Please like the video to support and subscribe to join the movement. I'm Aaron, and I'll see you in the next one.